hello guys and welcome to fg success youtube channel and in this video i'm going to walk you through how you can set up wordfence security plugin for any wordpress website okay so it's very easy go over to plugins click on add new and it's going to load the wordpress repo so i'm just going to search for wordfence so wordfence so if you don't know what wordfence is it's a security plugin and it essentially takes care of security for any wordpress website okay so it's free but they also have a pro version so to install this just click on install now um, make sure it's this first one here with 4 million um, active um, installations so these are just add-ons uh, this is the main plugin here okay so just click on activate and the plugin is gonna be activated on your wordpress blog okay so here you just need to add in your email address i'm gonna add in my email address and check no and i'm gonna also check on this box to agree with wordfence terms and privacy policy okay and click on continue then over here it's gonna ask you to enter a premium key so this is only um, needed if you have a pro account so you can upgrade to pro um, by clicking on this button but we're not going to be doing that for this tutorial we're just going to configure what things so that's basically it for activating the plugin um, i'm just going to run through the settings for on um, wordfence so first thing here is the dashboard tab so the wordfence dashboard essentially gives you an overview of the security status of your wordpress website so it just gives you statistics about all the security features like the scanner the firewall and how secure your site currently is it also provides you with this graph that shows the total number of websites being attacked uh, so wordfence has a network of websites that it protects and it's able to monitor attacks in all the websites so it just gives you a basic overview of your entire circuit setup there's nothing much to the dashboard let's go over to firewall and set up the firewall so what fence has something called a waf which is web application firewall okay so there are different kinds of firewalls we have server firewalls and there's also web application firewall so a web application firewall simply acts uh, like an intermediary between your wordpress website and your users okay so if somebody is trying to hack your wordpress website um, they have to go through the web application firewall first before they can even get to the server level firewall so this is an extra security uh, level so one, as long as you've included word fence on your wordpress website you're actually doubling on your firewall security so just click on manage firewall over here and once you're at this page it's going to pop up with this uh, to make sure your site is as secure as possible take a moment to op optimize the word fence web application firewall so just click here to configure download your ht access and make sure this is at uh, light speed slash isapi because this is recommended if you have uh, another server and uh, the server configuration recommends this make sure you use this but we're going to be using this for this tutorial so click on continue and the word fence firewall should be completely added to your wordpress website okay so we also have scan so over at the scan section here is you can just scan your website for uh, uh vulnerabilities or malware so just click on start new scan so this is something you're going to be doing um time over time it's not really part of the setup i'm just showing you what's possible with um word fence and we also have login security so i'm going to show you how you can set up login security so wordfence allows uh, two-factor authentication it supports two-factor authentication so if you have a two-factor authentication app like google authenticator or Fluo tp or Oti, you can actually configure it um, very easily from here just follow this instruction um, one scan or enter your key and enter the code from the authentication app so if you use an authenticator app you can easily add that here so whenever you're trying to log into your WordPress website you, you just use your authenticator uh, plus your password and uh, username so this just doubles on your login security and it's not really compulsory but this is something that you 
uh, should consider doing to increase your security okay so apart from login security there's nothing else to configure for WordFence, especially in the free version every other thing is configured automatically okay so that's basically it for setting up WordFence. at this point your wordpress should be uh, more secure than an average wordpress website so i hope you guys found this video useful if you did please leave a like for the video below and you can subscribe to our channel for more content with everything about this video covered i'll see you guys in the next video